you know, a big story this week that we kind of touched on, Boots, was the fact that Bobby Rahal made a big announcement this week mm -hmm. that his IndyCar team that he has, Rahal Letterman, wasn't going to run a full season. So, obviously, Auto Smarts, for you, on top of that, uh, you and I got a chance to get together with Bobby just about a day and a half ago and, and talk to him about that decision. And here's what Bobby had to say with us. Bobby, talk about the decision that was made. Uh, the IndyCar series will not be a full-time job for you this year. What thoughts went into it, and why the decision? You know, what was written in the in the paper, uh, I mean, it, it was accurate, but I don't think people quite caught on or, 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 or saw how I had um, sort of uh, the perspective I put into, which was at this time. I mean, we're uh, continuing to look for sponsorship. There is some interest. There is a possibility that we could be in the series. Certainly, I think we'll be at Indy for sure because I think that there's a lot of – we've already spoken to some companies and they've shown an interest in doing that. But naturally, we'd like to do the whole year. But it's, you know, add this economy, add the fact that we're already in almost in February. The first race is two months from now. Uh, I mean, fortunately, we're, our cars are pretty much ready to go. We have to paint them, but they've been, you know, prepared. So it's not like we just sat here, you know, after the last race. But, but it is tough. I mean, it's extremely tough out there to find sponsorship, and uh, uh, especially the, the level of sponsorship you need for, for a whole season. So, you know, am I optimistic? I don't know, because uh, it could happen just like that. You get the phone call, and, and, and it's there. But uh, we're working hard, and, you know, if we're not going to be in the series full time, you know, I'm disappointed, to be sure. But, you know. We've been trying. We've been trying hard, and uh, unfortunately, the, the you know the dynamics that are out there right now in this economy, and not just here but around the world, are, are definitely having a, a negative effect on, on motorsport. Okay, not having you in IndyCar would be like not having Junior in NASCAR. So we have to figure this out. So what's your plans to make sure you're at the Indy 500 this year? You know, as you know, we were sponsored by uh, uh, the ethanol, not the industry itself, but by a couple of the major players in that industry. And really up until September of last year, they were in line. We were ready to go. And then their, their, their businesses, that whole industry just tanked, you know, literally, you know, in a couple months. And, and yet now they're, you know, we're, we've been talking to them again. They're showing interest, uh, especially, you know, with the IRL now being powered by Brazilian ethanol, um, you know, that's got everybody up in arms. And, you know, hopefully we can use that to our advantage. But I think Indy will certainly be um, probable uh, for us. I would, uh, you know, I'm not going to say it's 100 percent, but I'd say it's close. Um, with, you know, the season's a whole different subject. But, yeah, I mean, for me, you know, this, is our, this would be my 26th or 7th year in IndyCar racing and not be a part of it. That would, that would definitely leave a big hole. And talk about the disadvantage you would face, too. Uh, it was always difficult to be a single-car team as it was. Mm. Brian hunter Ray, I think, was under contract till near the end of last year. Mm. So uh, do you call to the bullpen and say, yeah. Ryan, are you available, or do you have somebody in mind? What would happen? Well, you know, we, we really like Ryan. He's a great young guy and uh, obviously a very good driver. And, and I'm sure he would be, you know, the first on the list. Uh, Especially if we were ready to go back to Indy, uh, we did, he had a good race there last year with us, and I think he's just gotten as the year went on, he just kept getting better and better. And so, and he's got a great rapport with our engineer, so there'd be no reason not to to give uh, give Ryan a call. Um, I know he's he's already been up to Indianapolis uh, uh, because he's he's on the sidelines too. So it's. Uh, it's a shame um, that that's the situation that exists, and, and I think all of us are, as I say, we're all working to try to figure out how to solve this. You know, a team like yours is affected by the economy. What does it say for the whole racing industry? I mean, well, I mean, I, it, racing is not immune. Uh, when you have, when you have, you look in Formula One, and you have Honda that was spending, you know, several three, four hundred million dollars a year to go Formula One racing, and they pull out. If they pull out, what does that tell you? Let alone, you, you know, you, I, don't know if, I don't know if we've actually seen all the fallout yet in NASCAR. You know, I think there's a lot of wishful thinking. You know, some of the major teams obviously are good. But even they're saying, you know, the, the money is slowing down or it's, it's getting smaller. Uh, you know, these, these, most of these companies, they, they have X dollars. And, and uh, in times of this, like this, uh, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're just hunkering down. You know, they're, everybody's in survival mode to a large extent. And I think that's the way it is in racing right now. There's a lot of people that are just, you know, let's, let's get through this and, you know, let everything sort itself out and then we'll be back. But, 
you know, I remember uh, 1981, 82, when I first came to IndyCar racing, you know, the economy was very similar, and, you know, racing was nowhere near then what it is today. And so, uh, you know, we've been here before. Thankfully, this doesn't happen very often, but we've been here before, and we'll get through it and, you know, on to better things. And finally, you're kind of uh, the caretaker, the czar now of the BMW Americas series. Can you talk about what that's going to entail this year? And you're going to be overseeing it, and you're also going to have a team. Well, not in the Formula BMW, you know, obviously the, in the ALMS, the American Le Mans Series. Now, most of the Formula BMW races, which is for young drivers, that's where Graham started, for example, uh, they, they run on the same weekends as the uh, uh, American Le Mans Series for the most part. Um, so, but that, so that'll make it somewhat easy for us to do. But we, you know, that's just another little addition uh, in our kind of repertoire now. Uh, this is something we've never really done before. Um, we're expanding our horizons in some respect because of the economy, in some respects because we just think it's good business. Um, so, you know, with, with that, um, you know, with the Formula BMW series, we run the BMW's uh, classic car program, all their old race cars and street cars, we run that for them. So our, our relationship with BMW has grown uh, over the last several years. All right, we'll ask you the same question we ask all our racing heroes. What's your favorite classic car movie? Not classic cars, but movie in general has to do with cars. What is your favorite classic car between 1955 and 1972? Well, my favorite movie is, uh, is Grand Prix. I thought that was maybe the best racing movie uh, ever made. Uh, Cars, I guess probably uh, the ultimate, I think, would have been a, uh, it'd be a, a 1966 427 Cobra. I'd say that's the ultimate. And finally, I'm kicking myself because in 1986, we didn't try to patent greatest spectacles in racing after you won the 500. You and I have both had eye surgery since then. If we would have done that, we could have made a ton of money. Yeah, well, you know, I, we tr I tried to, you know, later on. But, uh, yeah, it, I look back and, I, you know, it's kind of funny to see. It's a lot nicer without glasses, I can tell you that. Bobby, thanks for your time. Thank you.